Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. And make sure to stick to the end of the problem where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 2 to the power of 24 minus 1. So 2 to the power of 24, well 24 I can rewrite as 12 times 2. So now I have 2 to the power of 12 times 2 minus 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 12 times 2, I can rewrite it as 2 to the power of 12 to the power of 2 minus 1. Now, let's first go ahead and find the exact value of 2 to the power of 12. Well, 2 to the power of 10 you know, this is 1024. And 2 to the power of 12, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 10 plus 2. So now if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 2 to the power of 10 plus 2, this is equal to 2 to the power of 10 times 2 to the power of 2. Now, 2 to the power of 10 times 2 to the power of 2, well, 2 to the power of 10, we know this is 1,024, and 2 to the power of 2, that's 4. So I have 1,024 times 4, so if I now do this, 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9, 4 times 0 is 0, and 4 times 1 is 4. So I have 4,096. So now this is the same thing as 4,096 squared minus 1. Now, 4,096, we can rewrite as 4,100 minus 4 squared minus 1. And now, if I have something in the form a minus b squared, this is the same thing as a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So in this case, a is equal to 4,100 and b is equal to 4. So now I have 4,100 squared minus 2 times 4,100 times 4 plus 4 squared. And we can't forget the minus 1 at the end. So now this is equal to 4100 squared minus 8 times 4100 because 4 times 2 is 8 plus 4 squared which is 16 minus 1. Now 16 minus 1 is 15 so now I have 4100 squared minus well 8 times 4100 that's going to equal 32,000 800 plus 60 minus 1 is 15. And now 4100 squared, this is the same thing as 1,681,000. Now I have this minus 32,800 plus 15. And now 1,681,000 minus 32,800, that's going to equal 1,677,000. Or sorry, I made a mistake. This is actually 16,810,000. So now it's going to equal 16,777,200. Now I have this plus 15. So now if I add these two, I get 16 million. 777,215. So this is my answer. So I have 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 2. So now the first thing I'm going to do is on my left hand side I'm going to factor out 2 to the power of x. So now I have 2 to the power of x times, well 2 to the power of x divided by 2 to the power of x, that's equal to 1. So I have 2 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Now if I simplify what's in the parentheses, I get 2 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 is 2 is equal to 2. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply these two. So 2 here, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 1. 
And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m plus n. So in this case, m is equal to x and n is equal to 1. So this is going to equal 2 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 2. And 2 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, then this means that, or sorry, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, then this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x plus 1 is equal to 1. Now, I'm going to subtract 1 on both sides. These two cancel out. I'm left with x is equal to 1 minus 1, which is 0. Now, another method of doing this. So I have 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 2. And I'm going to do the same thing at the start. I'm going to factor out 2 to the power of x. So I have 2 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Now if I simplify in some parentheses, I got 2 to the power of x times 2 is equal to 2. Now instead of multiplying these two, I'm actually going to divide both sides by 2. So then these two cancel out and left for 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of divided by 2, which is 1. Now, anything to the power of 0 is actually equal to 1. So I'm going to rewrite 1 as 2 to the power of 0. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x is equal to 0. Now to check, I have 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 2. Now, I know that x is equal to 0. So now I have 2 to the power of 0 plus 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 2. Now anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So now I have 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. And 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So I have 2 is equal to 2. And because this is right, our solution is right. All right, so I have x to the power of 3 minus 27 is equal to 0. Now I'm trying to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I first start with x to the power of 3 minus 27 is equal to 0. Now, 27, this is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3. So now if I substitute in 3 to the power of 3 for 27, I get x to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So in this case, a is equal to x and b is equal to 3. So now I have x minus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 3 squared. That's equal to x minus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 3 squared, which is 9. And remember, this is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have x minus 3 is equal to 0. And I also have x squared plus 3x plus 9 is equal to 0. So for x minus 3 equals 0, all I have to do is add 3 on both sides. These two cancel out. And I'm left with x is equal to 3. So this is one solution. Now for x squared plus 3x plus 9 equals 0, I'm going to be using the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now in this case, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3, and c is equal to 9. So now I have x is equal to negative b, so negative 3, plus or minus the square root of b squared. So 3 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 9, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. 
So now I have x equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared, which is 9, minus 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 9 is 36, all over 2 times 1, which is 2. And now I have x equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 36. That's equal to negative 27 over 2. And now negative 27, the square root of negative 27, I can rewrite as the square root of 27 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 1, this is actually equal to the imaginary number i. So now, if I replace i with the square root of 27, or sorry, the square root of negative 1, I get negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 27, i, over 2. So these are two other solutions to this problem. So now my first solution, this is 3. My second solution, this is negative 3 plus the square root of 27i over 2. And my third solution is negative 3 minus the square root of 27i over 2. So these are my three solutions to this problem.